Salutations, queens and kings. I'm Queen Jam back at it again. I wanted to do a very quick video just showing you some beauty tips, some free beauty tips that you can start doing today and will have you start looking amazing in no time. All right, so let's get to it. So my first tip would have to be dealing with um, if you're breaking out really bad, like right here. I would let you know now that if you do this a lot and always touching your face and things like that, you have to stop that, okay? We touch our face way too much and we have a lot of oils on our hands, a lot of dirt, a lot of bacteria, and all of that is going right here where your problem area is, or if it's on the cheek or on the side of your face, wherever it is, but it's mainly here because we like doing this or this, just stop doing it. Another reason is this, your phone. And this reason why I have this is because we don't clean off our phones enough. You should wipe your phone down several times throughout the day so that you can clean off all the bacteria, all the dirt. You know, you sit your phone down going into random places or just wherever you put your phone down at. And then you touch it to your face and all of the bacteria that's touching your phone, touching your face, and that's why you're probably breaking out as well and this is something that you're probably like wow I've never even thought about it but it's a good tip to have and another tip that I'll give you when it comes to having like this blemish I had on my face it was a pretty oily bump all I had to do and I live by this is some tea tree oil okay get yourself some tea tree oil and I know that this bottle I got off of Amazon, it was, I believe, like $10, but it's worth it. It's gonna last you a while as well. Especially if you have piercing, like I, I got this pierce, and whenever I hit it or something, I would have to apply the tea tree oil onto the bump, and it would soak up all the moisture. It soaks up all, even though it's an oil, it soaks up all of that excess oil that's not supposed to, supposed to be there. It's more like an astringent than anything. So that's definitely something that I would get for yourself and have it in your um, repertoire of different things that you have. And I would say another tip would also be make sure you have yourself um, a toner. I don't toner I used to use. I used to use Ambi in high school a lot and then I became accustomed to that and it stopped working so I had to switch. So now I just use some witch hazel. You can get some witch hazel, some rose water, something that's really light, not too harsh on your face. Something that's really light, not too harsh on your face that will lighten and brighten your skin but not bleaching per se. I'm not going to get into that topic. Okay. And I believe that that is pretty much it when it comes to the free uh, beauty tips. Also, when it comes to like moisturizing, I do like a coconut, not coconut oil, I do a mineral oil since it's a very light oil and I place that over my face. I am transitioning into upgrading what I want to do with my beauty regimen because right now it's just black soap real quick wash my face and then the toner and then the mineral oil and I like keeping it that simple but other people claim you have to have all these different serums and stuff so I'm gonna check those things out too and if you want to know more about those things or if I end up trying them and you want to learn more about them just comment down below and I will show you so get to the real <laughs> topic of this video so I am to what beauty really looks like, all right? So, naturally, we have a lot going on already, you know? Like, most people dread and say, you know, I have these dark circles under my eye or I have all this, um, all 
these bumps on my skin and stuff like that and the very the very first beauty to fashion is giving you from the very get-go is to just let you know that beauty starts within i know it sounds like a load of crap but it is legit okay if you don't have a beautiful inside then the outside is not really going to matter because eventually people are going to chip away at the outside and figure out what's really lying underneath and that it's ugly so if you want to love yourself, you have to love yourself from within. Don't talk to yourself crazy. Say, only say loving things to yourself, kind things to yourself. And half the time we talk to ourselves, the way we talk to ourselves, we would never talk to anyone else. So speak to yourself loving, kind, you know, say you're beautiful, I'm kind, I'm smart, I'm important, and I'm worth it. And at the end of the day, it will start to become believable. You just keep telling yourself that over and over make it become a mantra really because that's something that I do and something I have to continue to do. Said all that to say, <laughs> I'm going to be going through my, I guess every few weeks I have to do this because I start getting, you know, things start showing back up again and you have to replenish and refresh and everything. So. I'm going to take you deep inside <laughs> of my um, beauty regimen, what I'm going to be doing. So, I have had probably two or three hairs on my chin since I've been in high school, and probably a little bit before that, and I felt like an animal, you know, <laughs> but once on my arm showed me hers and was just like oh it's normal you know women get that but either way the, the way the world depicts it it makes it seem like women were not supposed to have any hair at all other than your eyebrows and your you know and, it, and it's just not realistic realistically I have some hairs right here and I have a few hairs that come on the very side and of course we all have the peach fuzz but don't nobody care about that okay I'm gonna tweeze some of my mustache as much as I can get on camera and um, we're gonna go from there so. <sighs> so I have I don't know if you can see I don't know if you can see my two friends there but they are getting evicted today I don't think they know. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can even see them anymore because my hair is like light brown. Oh, okay, never mind. See that one? I don't know if you can see it, but now you can see it that I'm pulling on it. Oh. friend here that one too is I'm gonna oh damn it I lost it gonna have to go and I see one more here Also say that you should never compare yourself. Never compare yourself to other people because at the end of the day, half the people that you're who that hurt. Half the people that you're trying to or trying to compare yourself to they're in competition with themselves okay 
and you can tell those people. <laughs> so don't don't compare yourself. It's not worth it. And just be realistic with your comparison because at one point I was looking at my eyes and I was like, oh my gosh, like they're so puffy right here. And most people, you know, like when I smile, you can see how puffy they are. And most people would be like, oh my gosh, you have to get those <laughs> bags or those, um, I don't know what the heck they call them, but you always see the infomercials, you know, man, for the eye cream and all that mess. I looked at a recent baby picture and I should have pulled it up. I'll put a, I'll probably put like a link or something below to show you um, a close up baby picture when I had, that I had when I was younger. And I still had these in my baby picture. So if they were there then, I can attempt to do something with them now, but I'm not gonna fret over it if that's the way I was born. If I was born this way, I'm gonna keep it going, okay? Stress myself out trying to look like the next person who don't even look like themselves and we all know and get yourself this was love like back in the day having the uh, mirror on your on your phone was love I'm just gonna finish tweezing my mess mustache my mustache I feel like there should be a woman term for it my she stash very fine so you can't it's hard to tell almost see the root that's how you know baby was deep a lot of fine um, hairs A lot of like right here especially they're like really fine you can feel them but you can't see them so it's like hard to tweeze those areas I feel like there's like two or more right here so I'm not seeing for like the big dark ones there's just like a whole bunch of peach fuzz now and to be honest with you I leave the peach fuzz because what I'm going to do take an um, actual razor or like wax it some people do that I guess. I want to try this sugar wax thing, so maybe I'll do a video on that too. Well, I believe that's all. But I'm glad you were able to share this journey with me. And um, again, like I said, just know that you're beautiful. Beauty starts within yourself, okay? I did this video just to show you that it don't matter. Okay, sometimes you gotta put yourself out there to get to where you want to go and sometimes you just have to be yourself and not worry about the backlash at that moment or oh my goodness she really tweezed her lip on camera and okay people secretly tweeze their lip every single day probably in the bathroom sneaky tweezing I did it on camera who cares okay love yourself do something to show yourself that you love yourself every day and just remember always smile
smile, you're beautiful, and everything and every little imperfection that you may seem to think is an imperfection makes us who we are. All right, we all look the same, we pretty warm. Mm -hmm. All right, but thank you for tuning in. And again, I'll make another video. I have another video that I'm making that I'll link to this as well, showing how to clean and change my piercing. I'm doing my nose piercing, I'm changing that, and I'll be cleaning my bar. So if you want to see that video, click the link down below, or the video that's probably showing green now up in the corner. But I do thank you for being here for another session with Jam, okay? It's Queen Jam then.